So, what's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to Session Programming Users TV. Now, in this class, we're going to look at what a binding source is, okay? As you know, in this, our aim with this particular channel is to make something of more of like a, a TV for programming. So, we're going to be covering uh, a lot of programming and looking at various classes and then examples to we'll explain them and then examples, okay? So, yeah, we're going to be covering a lot of tutorials. So, in this case, we actually want to look at what is a binding source, okay? A binding source, this is actually a C-sharp tutorial. So, the question is what is a binding source and how can we use it in our projects, okay? So, a binding source is basically a class that, of course, encapsulates the data source for a form, okay? Majority of the times when you're working in your Windows forms, you want actually to work with data for example you may want to have a list an array a dictionary of data and you may want to bind that data to of course your component now binding source can help with that one so we can come and say that this is no let me just just say a binding source okay so as you learn we'll also be taking notes all right so a binding source is a class that encapsulates the data source of a form okay of a form of a windows form we can come and say that one of a windows form so that is what a binding source is now of course that is of course the definition now let's also this particular let's come and now look at its programmatic definition okay so first of course the binding source belongs to the system dot windows dot forms namespace okay so we come right here and say it belongs to system dot windows okay dot windows dot forms namespace so this is a namespace right here and of course these were the binding as uh, the binding source does reside okay so we come right here system.windows.forms namespace that is the namespace it belongs to now of course this namespace okay the above system.windows.forms belongs to the system.windows.forms uh, assembly okay and we can come right here and say and system.windows.forms sorry dot forms dot dll assembly so that is the assembly under which this particular namespace belongs so having said that one okay so we're going to proceed on now of course having looked at the of uh, namespace as well as the assembly we're going to come right here and look at um let's come look at the definition okay so the definition right here so this class right here is actually how it is defined so this is cs now you can clearly see it's a class binding source okay so binding source or binding source is deriving from of course right here the component and then it's implementing several interfaces okay in fact let's just use the uh classic syntax okay yeah so binding source it's deriving from the component and then of course it's deriving from it's implementing the i binding list view i binding list i list i collection i enumerable i typed list i cancel add new i support initialize no notification then i support initialize then i currency manager now those are the interfaces that the binding source actually does implement now binding source can be used by all the .NET languages, okay, from C sharp, now can be used by, of course, C sharp, C plus plus, F sharp, and VB, okay. So those languages, all of them, can actually use the binding source. So remember, we've just said that binding source does; it's used to support um to act as the data source to encapsulate the data source of a form so 
I think yeah that's of course a good enough introduction to a binding source so the next step is actually to move to our code and write some code and actually see how we can use a binding source okay so let's go do that one so this is what we're going to build right here you can see we have a combo box now this combo box we're going to bind it to the values in a dictionary okay it's a dictionary we're going to use as our data source and we're going to bind the values of that dictionary into of course our combo box using a binding source okay there's going to be a very good usage of a binding source right there so when an item is clicked we're able to show it so let's jump and see what we have okay so go ahead proceed create our project i'm using visual studio 2013 now go write your new project okay then create your project now by the choose an empty project we want to start from scratch okay so let me just show you come new project we want to start from scratch so i'd recommend you choose an empty project okay even the user interfaces we're not using any drag drop technology right here so yeah go choose this one empty project then click ok type the project name under windows c sharp now once you've done that one of course what will come right here and do is that we come right here we're going to need some references windows.forms system.windows.forms okay these are assembly and then system drawing so to add them just right click references then click add references of course a pop-up is going to pop up then come right here choose search for forms if you search for forms you can come right here click it then click add then do the same thing for drawing so just search drawing then system to drawing tick it then click ok it's going to add those references under the references section first and foremost you're going to include them using a using statement or import them then we specify our namespace okay now we're going to have a class a static class we're calling program then of course private static combo box combo box this is a class member okay so right here we have it as a static member a class member now we're going to have our main method which is the entry point to application then we'll go ahead and instantiate our my form okay we'll assign a form our title the form title then the size of the form right here width by height okay is that is the current size the back color is the background color then we we'll go ahead and instantiate the combo box then using the object initializer we're going to set the location of the form the location of the combo box so these are x and y coordinates and then the drop down style we set right here okay drop down list once we have that one then dictionary we're going to instantiate the dictionary now this dictionary right here you can see it has two it's a generic right here belonging to the system dot collection so generic there are two generic parameters of course uh, types int and string this is for the key this is for the values okay you know a dictionary is actually a, just a collection of key value pairs okay so here is that collection you can see we have the key as the ints or the values are the strings okay so what we're interested in is taking only the values right here the values and then we bind them to our combo box that's what we're going to do so binding source binding source equal to new binding source the nebula dot values right there okay so we're going to pass it so in our binding source constructor we can pass in two values okay first is the data source now the data source is this particular values and then the data member we're going to not have any data member so just pass null so we have data source and data member so this is how we instantiate the binding source then of course combo box the data source we point our data source to binding source and that's how we bind our combo box then we can come right here and handle the selected index change so selected index change then of course plus then equal to then you press your tab key twice this is going to generate for you our event handler so this is the event and then this is our event handler so once inside our event handler we're going to show a message box when clicked right here a message box that when the user selects an item from the combo box we'll get the selected item cast it to string then show it now we come 
right here we've not yet added our form our combo box into our form so let's come right here my form dot controls dot add we add the combo box then application dot run then we run our my form that's what we need to do guys so let's proceed over run the project right here and see what we are having so you can see what we have so if we come right here these are selects an item you can clearly see that we have it right here okay so okay our stuff is working fine so guys we've looked at the binding source in this particular class i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the class please go like the video share it also make sure you subscribe so as to continue receiving more of these programming tips and tutorials other stay care i'll catch you in the next class